Hello there guys and girls, it's Tom Parkinson here, and uh, <laughs> I'm doing the first video that I've done in, like, three months. <laughs> and the uh, the last one wasn't even that big, it was just about how I made a blog, which I don't even keep anymore. So, <laughs> you know, they say that people sort of um, don't really keep with things that they say they're going to keep with. But with that blog, I will, uh, I will uh, go ahead and update that a bit more when I get more time. Anyway, so in the past, uh, over these, uh, what is it, nearly three years now I've been on YouTube, um, I have shown you videos of just very, uh, you know, just various tests, um, infected virtual machines, uh, testing software, you know, all kinds of that sort of stuff. So I thought today that I'd show you how to set up a virtual machine as well as um, installing the application because. I have to update the application anyway that I've got on my computer, so I thought I may as well go ahead and uh, show you how to install this um, and sort of polish that one off because you know some people may be wary. You know, is uh, is it okay to say uh, to to install this? So you know, I thought I'd go ahead and do that. Um, so just leave everything checked. Uh, there's going to be something that's you know going to bother some people in a minute, but um, it's nothing to worry about. So, you know, just go for the installation, blah, 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 next. Now, when it says networking interfaces, uh, literally, all that means is, it's just, it's literally just like pressing the reset button on your uh, router. That's literally all it is. So, you can just click yes to that, and then you can click install. Uh, but, yeah, I thought that I would actually, you know, sort of, focus on the subject of virtual machines, you know, rather than just do something in a virtual machine, because... I have so many people who say, you know, how have you done this, Tom? You know, you know, Tom Parkey, how, how have you done this? And it's basically by the technology of virtual machines. Um, you know, and the very, and you know, the very interesting things. I mean, when I first made my first virtual machine, you know, I couldn't get over it. I was fascinated by it. You know, I mean, literally, it's you know, Windows XP or just whatever you want in a box. <laughs> you know, as an application, it's pretty amazing. But now it's literally. It's quite trivial, you know, you get used to it. And, you know, virtual machines, literally their purpose is to test stuff. You know, you can just, you can wreck a virtual machine and, and your real computer is fine, really. It's absolutely fine. Or you can run a server inside a virtual machine. You know, whatever you want to do. But yeah, no, just so many people have been posting comments. And I'm sorry that I don't respond to that many, all the comments, but I do see them. So I, I'm sort, I'm sort of, I know that I've been sort of very neglecting my channel recently, but um, this is sort of to make up for all of that, okay, guys? Because you know I love you, because you know I've seen so many new subscribers, by the way, and thank you for for all those who have just recently subscribed. And you know, it, you know, it's trickling in, but they are coming in slowly. You know, um, so you know, just those who, you know, have taken notice and to actually subscribe and sort of stay with me with my videos you know really really appreciate it so thank you very much so we're nearly done and uh, yep so the installation is complete finish okay so basically um, I've already got some virtual machines set up here uh, as you can see you know I've you know I've got quite a few um, that's what it's going to look like when you have a few virtual machines. But anyway, um, let's um, sort of stick to what we've, we've got here. Uh, you click New. This is how you set up a virtual machine. You click New, and we're going to do Windows XP. And I'm literally just doing this because, um, just literally because it's quick, you know. And um, I'm really, to be, I'll be honest with you. Uh, um, okay. Um, XP version two. So you know, um, what? Well, oh, oh dear! <laughs> I forgot what I was saying now. Um, ah, oh yeah. Um, the reason why we, well, uh, why I prefer to use Windows XP really is because is because. You know, just literally, like it's just it's just so much more straightforward. Uh, in in you know, in a bit, I'm gonna have to stop sort of going to Windows XP. But really, basically, with virtual machines, literally, you just install 
the operating system as you would on a, a real computer. You know what I mean? So you know, literally, the way you do it on a on a real machine, that's the way you do it on here. So we've made the new machine. That's machine created, but we haven't installed the operating system. So if we click start, uh, we have to go ahead and select the. Actually, it should be already in here. Uh, nope. Uh, so we have to go ahead and select the um, oh dear, should sort. There we go. We have to uh, select the the image file, okay? Uh, which you know, which uh, actually has Windows XP on it. So you could either use your CD drive, or you could um, you could choose to copy your CD. Uh, your CD, your your Windows XP CD to an ISO file, and if you do it by ISO file, it runs a lot quicker because it's off the hard drive as a file, so it's a lot more efficient and a lot more quicker. Now I'm obviously going to be pausing the video, but uh, it you know usually doesn't take more than twenty minutes I'd say, so you know it's it's really you know it's really it's really good, you know really. Um, you know, if, you know, if you want a virtual machine quick, you know, virtual machine um, XP is the best way to go. So I'm just gonna hit enter for install, uh, NTFS, and off it goes. You know, uh, pretty trivial our uh, installations really. The Windows Seven, Windows Seven is much easier to install in XP even. So yeah, um, basically I've been busy because of college work. Um, you know, it's it's been a bit of a you know I've 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 also kind of run out of YouTube discipline, <laughs> if if uh, if I'll go ahead and call that for me, um, you know, just literally because I haven't had time and I've I've not been on here a long time, so you know that that's really that's really a, the only reason why I've not been around so much, but uh, you know. Uh, you'll see that I'm, I'm not a ghost, <laughs> a YouTube ghost or something. Uh. So yeah, you know, uh, and this is this is VirtualBox, okay? Uh, VirtualBox is free. Uh, if you go help and about, uh, that's from the Oracle Corporation, and you can get this off uh, SourceForge. Uh, you can get off SourceForge or the uh, the VirtualBox.org website. I'll put the link in the description. I'll I'll actually send you to the to the actual website rather than like a uh, a direct download link or anything like that. Uh, you know, just just simply so you can see what's about really. So you know, Windows is installing, uh, and you know th this would. You know, if if you were on a real computer, anyone who's installed XP on a real computer, this would take ages. And that's and and this is all because it's from an ISO file, rather than, say, you know, a CD. So already we, uh, we're restarting the computer. We don't want to uh, boot from the CD because uh, Windows is partially installed now, and now we've um, you know already we're we've got the interface up so it says 39 minutes but usually th th this should sort of you know it should actually sort of just go down you know just purely just literally just uh, go down uh, very fast um, you know I'd say around yeah you know 20 minutes is about what I get I think If it sounds like something's r wiggling around at any point, it's because I've got a new headset. I thought I'd try getting a uh, headset uh, as opposed to sort of speaking uh, to my my laptop microphone because um, even s when got just even when I'm, I'm talking at a normal level and, I don't, and and like I'm not in the mood where I feel like I have to shout, <laughs> um, you, you know, sometimes it's just too loud anyway. So I, uh, I've got myself a headset. Feels a lot cooler, actually. You know, feels a lot cooler to sort of have a headset as opposed to just sort of talking to my laptop, really. So.
so installing the devices uh, um, I kinda don't want to pause the video because I've had bad experiences with pausing a video um, in the past where I've like forgotten or something like that so um, let's see if, if we can talk about anything here um, if uh, those of you who know vir uh, VirtualBox and might not have um, might not have used it for a while uh, you know this is like the new version um, you know it's just come out um, you know it's a lot it's a lot different than it used to be you know the, the interface looks a lot nicer um, you know uh, we've got what was it now? Snapshots. You're able to clone snapshots. That's what the that's what the little sheep thing there is. You can take a snapshot whilst it's even turned off, if you in case you didn't know that. Um you know the details, you have all the details here. You can eat now you can even uh, write a little description about it. Well actually no. Yeah, you could you could already write a uh, description about it actually. And you know, you got the the settings for it. You know storage, um, you know IDE controllers, um, floppy disk controllers, all that sort of thing. Uh, you got uh, a preview window now, so you can just sort of glance at what's what's going on, and you can just sort of like you know jump from one to one if you've got a few machines running. And as you can see, we've got that one uh, running. Um, so I'm gonna uh, put in my name. So I'm just gonna put Parky. That's uh, sort of my nickname at the moment. <laughs> so uh, next, uh, gonna leave that as it is. I don't really care. Um, that's Lisbon. Uh, that's uh, well English time. Uh, next, and just let that go. So it's installing the network. I'll be right back a second, guys. Hey guys, uh, sorry if that that looked a bit weird, uh, but I just I had to uh, just check my time, and then I was like, um, screencast-o-matic. Uh, <laughs> I was a bit confused. If you press restart to restart the recording, as in actually sort of get it going again, or if you if you click to the um, the red record button, it's a red record button. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, I've had you know I, I have I have had more. I have had more words said to me about the um screencast matic uh, uh uh yeah no i um all I can think of guys is you might need to update your Java because this application is java based you know you really you know really you will want to you know you will want to go ahead and update that java trust me it, you know if that that's if you haven't already. Um, I'm trying to think what else it could be. Uh, if you you know that you've already got. Uh, also, yeah. Um, in uh, sometimes people have made a comment, and I've just known exactly what it is. Um, you might not have it Java installed. Cause, and you know you you need to install Java. Um, I think what else. If uh, you're getting anything that says allow or don't allow, you want to allow it. If you just click uh, start recorder and then you get, a, 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 you should you should get a pop up immediately afterwards that says um, allow or don't allow. So you will want to allow it. You know, if if you if you know if you want to uh, let it run, you'll have to allow it, guys. So yeah. Um, anything else that I can say about that one? No. So, so you know, I, I, I sort of hope that helps. And also, um, you know, it occurs to me that I've, I, you know, I've, I've got quite a few people on my channel now who've been commenting quite frequently. So I think it's about time that I made some um, social media. Um, I probably, you know, maybe make a page or something, you know, so we can get all of you together. If you know what I mean. So literally, just like have a place that is like based around my tutorials or something like that, 
and uh, you know you, you can you know I might I might make another blog actually I might make another blog um so you know and sort of so that it relates to this if you know what I mean I'm just going to check my time again one sec okay so you know literally I I've I've even sat here talking to you I don't think that was more than 10 15 minutes you know um sorry if i if i have a boring voice <laughs> uh, but, uh you know um just i've literally just been trying to resolve some of these issues uh that have been sort of going on whilst i've been away from youtube so you know saving the settings uh, removing any temporary files and that's it the computer reboots and it, Windows XP is installed. How's that? So literally, I you know I've spent quarter of an hour, sixteen minutes on this video, and um, you know it's it's freaking, it's gone by. You know, so we'll do the old traditional uh, screen resolution thing, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll show you a few bits and pieces that are in that you can do in virtual machines just to sort of get you started uh, you know like the basics like there's snapshots the there's the guest editions and uh, oh, and uh, you know uh, there's the Windows XP sound that I love so much there it is okay I'm just gonna turn that down a bit just in case they, you can hear that okay so you know literally just go through it it's pretty straightforward. It'll just tell you exactly what it, you know it wants you to do. Um, I, I'm choosing not to update right now, uh, just because this is vir a virtual machine. It's not important that I have it, you know, secure, and I want it for testing anyway. Uh, know this computer will con connect uh, directly to the internet. You know, most of you will be selecting that now. No, not at this time. Uh, I'm going to put my name as Parking, I think. Uh, say next and finish and then we're brought into um, the Windows desktop and here we are you know th this is it I'm just gonna e e eject the CD image so um, to do that you just right click on the, the little CD down here and remove the disk from the drive alright so I sometimes skip over basics, by the way, in c just in case if I skip over the basics, I sometimes skip over the basics. So, you know, do prompt me if I do. Um, literally, if you ever need to insert a, D a CD, DVD, literally, you know, uh, you'll have the, the ones that you've already mounted here, and uh, you have to choose one there. Uh, you got the same thing for USBs, you know, if you've got a, a USB plugged in. Uh, you can also have shared clipboard. I think you need the guest editions and so for that one. And drag and drop. Drag and drop doesn't work. Literally, I've tested it and it doesn't work. They're still kind of um, developing that one. Well, actually, no. I don't know that because I've only just installed this new update to VirtualBox, so it might work. But we'll uh, we'll have a look actually in a minute. So uh, I'm going to select bi directional for shared clipboard. I'm going to select uh, bi-directional drag and drop. Um, so now it's basically about configuring this computer to your needs. So I'm going to first of all right-click on my computer, go, go to properties. This is just an example. You you know you you may do this completely differently, but as as weird as it is, I have to turn off automatic updates again to um, you know sort of stop things going on that I don't really need going on okay uh, now uh, where is it um, what's it gonna do next oh yeah control panel and I'm just gonna switch that one to the classic view for a minute I'm just gonna change my home page to Google because the default home page just really lags you out when you have uh, Internet Explorer 6 on here. You know, it's just, it's awful. 
and if if you are using Windows XP, you may, you know, you you, you probably, you know, you have to upgrade Internet Explorer 6 because it just doesn't work. So, um, let's see, well, actually, no. Uh, well, I may as well, I may as well just do it, you know, just for good practice. So, Internet Explorer, uh, Internet Explorer eight. Yes. I'm just going to go and grab that one. And yes, I know, that's why I'm here. Run. Inside the virtual machine, it's a bit laggy, as you know. You you will get that with virtual machines. They're quite temperamental, to be quite honest with you. So, um, you know, uh, this is the install of Internet Explorer. You know, just in case if you you needed help with that one, you know, just, like it just I just mean if you were like a no, you know a totally novice user and you actually just wanted to know, um, just just literally uh, run through it. I'm just gonna untick install updates because that'll turn on Windows up updates again. Just gonna check my time again again a second guys. One minute. Okay, um yeah I probably won't exceed thirty minutes with this one. I hope I hope not to because literally oh, just um you know I don't want to sort of floor you and also make it so that I you know like the the upload takes like forever you know so um I actually I'll tell you what I'll wait until this finishes all right I'll see you in a minute all right guys uh internet explorer installation is complete uh, I'm going to say we start later because what we're going to do is we're going to install the de the guest editions so literally uh, you just go devices and then click install guest editions and then this pops up inside your virtual machine uh, click next click next you do not want the direct 3d okay um, I've I've installed it and you know honestly it hasn't all right. Uh, well, you know, I I've installed it and um, it just causes problems, just causes issues, really. So just just don't bother um, installing that one. And you know, literally, just you know, just there's not really that big a difference. <laughs> you know, um, it works just the same. So now we will. Go ahead and reboot. And uh, we'll take out the CD. Because um, basically when you install guest editions, it inserts like a, a little ISO file that comes with VirtualBox. <coughs> with VirtualBox, rather. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, that, you know, so that's why I did it. So yeah, um, so now you'll notice that it's a bit smaller than it was, but if you just resize the screen, you'll see that instantly it just pops right out. And, you know, we, we could literally just go full screen with this and it'd be awesome. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, literally you could, you could just go full screen with this and it's like, you know, apart from the little pop-up bar at the bottom to make sure you can get back into the your real computer it's like uh, having a Windows XP computer it's amazing um, so now um, let me see have I I uh, yeah I've got the computer now uh, you know configured the way actually no have I no I haven't I want to get this wizard out of the way <coughs> this wizard out of the way <laughs> Uh, you know, um, because Internet Explorer, like, has this wizard that, um, that, like, always pops up.
it's usually my main machine, if you remember, that uh, has the trouble, but it's not really this, uh, it's not really that right now. So I'm just going to, you know, obviously you set this one the way you want it, but, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just going to sort of whiz through this really. Uh, yes. So that's all done. So little tabs. And boom. So now, what if I wanted to do something that could potentially wreck this computer? Oh, say, for instance, download a virus. <laughs> um, you know, and then, you know, I just, I didn't want to have to make a new virtual machine every time I downloaded a virus and mess the machine up. Well, what we can do is at this point right now, I've got, I've got the configuration perfect the way I want it, okay? This, right here, is what I want to return to every single time I need to um, return to a clean machine. So literally, we just go to machine, take snapshot. Now what this does is it saves the current state as just perfect, just literally as it is right now. Okay, so because this is a clean install, I am going to name it clean install. Click OK. And now the the machine state has been saved. So, you know, everything's all good, you know. So now if I go to my computer, I'm going to go to folder options, I'm going to go view, uh, show hidden files and folders, extensions, operating system files, yes, apply. And just wait for it to you know finish lagging, and then we're just going to do something very quickly that will just impair a machine. I'm going to just delete all of these files right here, just literally all of them. Those files are gone, and now we uh, reset the machine, and Windows is still here <laughs> oh dear right uh, did I not do that correctly well I think I just made a fool of myself let's just try that one again shall we hmm now usually what happens is is if you delete those files uh, Windows will fail to start um, you know, like you know like I, I just I literally just removed the you know the vital startup files, but somehow somehow it's it's not happening. Um, I I don't I don't know what's going on to be honest. Um, well, quite well, quite frankly, I am amazed. <laughs> Um, I don't know if th this might be a new thing in VirtualBox, I'm not sure, but um, I have never experienced that whereby I just delete all the vital files to get Windows started and we are still here. <laughs> um, <sighs> well, I am dumbfounded. <laughs> wow, I'm I'm just I literally cannot work this out. Okay, let's try let's try deleting that. No. No, don't be silly, Tom. Uh nope. Well I c I can't really explain that one guys. I really can't. Uh system thirty two. Uh let's delete something from here. Let's go drivers. Let's get uh just try delete the whole folder. This should d delete at least some of them anyway. Go, 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 go. Delete those if you can.
if um like if if this doesn't work I'll just I'll just I'll um I'll I'll use another method just to I all all I want to all that I mean is all that I've got to get across is just basically you know you can mess a machine up and it will it will literally just you know by using that snapshot that we created we can just literally restore its state so there's no uh, boot up files and we're in Windows believe it or not so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, there's a new text document there, so the configuration has changed. So let's just try resetting in case Windows does fail to start. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so NTLDR is missing. That's the end of Windows. Okay, so, you know, unless if you can get someone who, you know, unless if you want to go to the hassle of, you know, getting the files off a CD, you know, this machine is gone. So if we just go to... Um, Actually, if we just X out of the machine, uh, let's just say power off, and then we go into the virtual box manager and go there, go into snapshots, and then click clean install. That's the, sh uh, the snapshot that we made, and we can click the restore snapshot button. Uh, I don't want to create a snapshot of the current machine uh, state because it's messed up click restore and that's it so if I click start and it, you'll notice it says saved it's going to restore the virtual machine and there we are it's back everything's fine that text file is not there and if I click reset we don't get an error message we boot straight into Windows um, so, is there anything else? Uh, you can take a, you can take a, just just a screenshot of the virtual machine now, and go ahead and save that. Uh, mouse integration is automatic now, pretty much. Uh, oh, we were going to we we were questioning whether or not now um, the drag and drop can work. So let me see. Let's just grab a random file or something. So I've got um, her dot sdl. Can we take a file out? So we can't drag a file in. Can we drag a file out? Can we? Yes. No. Yeah, can we? Can we take it out? Hang on. Yeah, we still yeah we still got guest edition on. Nah, okay, so we can't do that. Um, the clipboard though, that always has worked fine. So you know, type type you know, type some random text. Uh, and there it is. So you know. Literally, you know, you know, it, you you can just use a shared clipboard very easily, and it makes uh, you know going in between machines quite easy, really. So that's it, really. You know, you you can use this for whatever you want, um, you know, and that's all I have to say, really. That's just basically how you set up a virtual machine. Um, this has been my first video in a while. <laughs> I hope um, that this. Um, shows you that I'm still active and I hope that it resolves the um, virtual machine issue that we've been having and I hope it's given you a better understanding alright guys I wish you well and I'll make some more videos very soon alright thanks guys take care